Hey, what's up? This is Sifu Cuddle, and in this video, we're gonna be working with the three section staff. Now, we're gonna be working on one of the most fundamental techniques for swinging the staff with two loose sections. So we're holding the middle section, we're gonna be using both of the other ends to be striking. Now, this is something that I usually teach my students in the very first couple lessons when they're learning how to just swing the staff and get used to it. But this is also a really good way to learn how to develop good waist rotation power. So for stepping forward for a uh, big soul trait or big swinging hook strike. So sometimes I use this to train the fists just as much as I use to train the staff. Okay, so grab your staff. And let's Okay, so for this technique, we're going to be using the central grip. That means that we're going to have two loose ends. So, grab the middle, and then you want to make sure to not grab the metal section. This is something that I always have to stress. If you do grab the metal section, you have a chance of really getting your fingers caught up and pinched with the other staff. Now, that's not to say that a staff can't come by and it hits your hand but this is where it's gonna really have crushing leverage, okay? So we wanna keep our hand a little bit further back. You can go just behind that metal section or you can go more towards the middle. I still prefer to have a little more reach, so I go just, just behind the metal section. Now this is very simple. All I'm gonna be doing is stepping forward into a horse stance and when my right foot steps forward, I swing with the right hand forward. When I step with my left hand forward, I swing with the left hand, okay? So let's go ahead and give this a shot. Now, first things first, safety reasons, hold up your staff and then just hold the whole thing. Okay, I'm gonna start with my horse stance and then I wanna think of uh, first, you're gonna have to swing both. So before I step, I have to swing one, then I'm gonna step with it, two. Then I'm gonna swing one, step, two. Swing one, step two, swing one, step two, swing one, step two, swing one, step two. Okay? One of the biggest mistakes that happens when people do this is because we're aiming more towards the head and this will have a little bit of an arc to go up and down, people tend to tilt the body with it. They take lazy steps. So we have the upper body tilted back as we do this. You don't want to do that. You want to make sure that you get your reach correct. And so in reaching forward, you want to tuck the ribs a little bit. So you get your shoulder and your hip forward at the same time, okay? Now, once you feel comfortable with that, we can go into just straight using the entire staff itself, okay? Now, if you're not comfortable with this, go slow. Nice and slow, nice and easy. We're gonna just go one, two, okay? And then I let the momentum die. I let, the, I let the staff come right next to me at my hip. So usually for me, I always bring my hand back to my hip. I always know where my back hand is when I do this. Okay? And then again, one, two. Again, one, two. Again, just swinging. If you really want to get used to this and you're not sure about the weapon, it's okay to take your first couple steps like this. But once you get used to this, you want to start applying power. Now, Power comes in two ways. We're not just gonna put power into our back hand. So I'm not just gonna have my front hand come up and then my back hand has all the power here. You have to think of this as a one-two strike. If this were my fist, I'd be big and swinging and hitting this way, okay? So I wanna have that same idea with the staff itself. In intention, it's a swing, it's not a snap. So don't try to like snap this staff out as you do this. You have to go with the flow, go with the momentum. So I say, do the same thing, start slow and incrementally add speed, okay? But you still have to think, it's striking with the first one and then the second one, okay? And then we move forward, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, okay? Now, one last thing is, as I do this, I'm, my mind should be striking. I should be thinking about striking with both of the ends of this. When I do that, when I think about that, I'm not gonna tilt back, and I'm gonna apply power at the correct time, which is also important. If I just have 100% power, the whole time while I swing, I'm gonna end up taking this step and it's gonna hit me. But if I think of my target in front of me, once it passes that point, 
I let it relax and there's no more power on the way out. This is a really, really hard one to actually put in motion. First, you can look at it, you can watch me, and you understand. But to put this together takes lots of practice and confidence. If you, don't, if you are not confident in swinging this weapon, it's better you don't. If you're afraid you're gonna hit yourself and you stop halfway, you will hit yourself. So you have to commit to control the staff as you do this, okay? So again, keep it simple. Do one step at a time. Don't worry about doing 10 in a row as fast as you can. Just hit, 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 step, okay? Two, three, four, five, six. Just take your time and step through. Try to stay low in that horse stance and work on this. This one, as you can see, I kind of add a little more detail. I talked to you guys about it a little bit more, but that's because this is a really important movement. Okay, so there you have it. It's really simple, but this is gonna be one of your basic, most fundamental strikes and something that you will build on in all your other strikes when you're swinging the three section staff, when you have the two loose sections. So really take the time to work on this. Focus on staying low, focus on tucking the, the hip in a little bit, tucking the ribs. Think of keeping your shoulders forward, not tilting back, and think of putting power in on both of those strikes, but also being able to let the momentum die off by the time it comes back to your body. So lots to focus on here, lots to really work on, and I really encourage that you understand this. More than any of the spinning techniques or anything else, this will give you a really, really good base for your three section staff. All right, if you like this video, hit that like button, and as always, be sure to subscribe. Until next time, this is Seafood Cuddle. Bam.